Maria, will you come in here for a minute? Sure. What's up? Sweet, I need to talk to you about something. Well, yeah, obviously. What's going on? Your sister Mia's coming back home. She is? Is college over with? Honey, what I'm about to tell you, I don't want you to put it against your sister. I won't put it against Lexi. Maria, okay, I'm sorry. Just tell me what you need to tell me. Well, uh, Mia is not well. She's not well? What do you mean? <sighs> she, um... Isn't feeling well. Well, yeah, you told me that. But what's wrong with her? Is it appendicitis? Is it the flu? Oh, my gosh, is it COVID? No, honey. Well, then what is it? She's emotionally not ready for college. Are you saying she's coming home, like, permanently? Well, until she feels ready to be on her own. So Mia's coming home from college because she's dropping out of college? Aren't you disappointed in her? Honey... Family is more important than education. Well, I don't know about that. I think they're equally important. Sweetie, maybe when you're older, you'll understand... You'll understand Mia. Huh? You'll understand why Mia dropped college. I mean... Mom, how am I going to understand? I've never been to college. No, but you're going to go. What if I follow in Mia's footsteps and don't go to college? Or at least go and drop out. That's not very nice to say, Maria. I guess the truth hurts. Maria, what? I want you to be nice to Mia. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious. Okay, fine. Can I go can I go now? Yes, yeah, you can go in your room and talk to your sister about Mia coming. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. Be nice. <sighs> Lexi, put your computer away. Why? Because I have to tell you something and it's important. Okay? What's up? Did you know Mia is coming home? Mia's coming home? Really? Yeah. Why is Mia coming home? I mean, not that I don't want to see her. I do. But there has to be a reason why she's coming home. She dropped out of college. Mia dropped out of college? Yeah, isn't that what I just said? Why is she dropping out of college? Because she couldn't handle being on her own. God's a little disappointment. You're mad at Mia because she's coming back home? I'm not mad at Mia because she's coming back home. I'm mad because of the reason why she's coming home. Well, what's the difference? Just think of it as her taking a break. Yeah, a, a break that lasts the rest of her lifetime. What are you trying to say, Maria? It's just that I just, I always wanted to be like Mia. I mean, she's not smart. She's not pretty. You better not hear Ma, let mom hear you or Mia hear you. It doesn't matter. Mia really disappointed me. Disappointed you or disappointing mom? Is there a difference? Well, no. I mean, if mom's not upset about Mia dropping out of college, you shouldn't be. I just hope I'm not a failure like Mia is. So when did Mom say she was going to be here? Mia should be here soon, I guess. I didn't really ask Mom. It doesn't matter. I don't want to talk to Mia. Why are you so mad? Because I always looked up to Mia. I always wanted to be like her. Now I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I wanted to be like her. I'm even embarrassed that she's part of our family. You know what, Maria? Right now, I'm embarrassed that you're part of our family. <sighs> so, Mom, you don't think I disappointed you and I'm not a failure? Of course you're not a failure. Sometimes succeeding doesn't always mean achieving a goal. It could also mean that you know the right time to ask for help. But I'm embarrassed, Mom. I dropped out of college. Why aren't you disappointed? Sweetie, you are my daughter, my firstborn. You can never disappoint me. Really? You're not mad at me? Of course I'm not mad at you. Hey, my, hey, Mia! Hey, Lexi. Oh my gosh!
Mom told me you were coming. Are you okay? She said you weren't well. I will be okay. So where's Maria? She's in our bedroom. Oh, I'm going to go see her. I wouldn't. Why not? Well, Maria's not sure how she's supposed to feel about you coming back home. What are you talking about? It's not like it's the first time I've come home. I came home last Christmas. Yeah, I know, but Maria's not so crazy about the reason why you came home this time. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really know what Maria's problem is. Well, I'm going to find out. Sweetie, what is going on with Maria? She's mad because Mia dropped out of college. Maria said that she always looked up to Mia. And now that she now that Mia dropped out of college, she's embarrassed that she wanted to be like her. It seems to me like Mia dropping out of college, well, it seems like Maria thinks it's about her. Yeah. She's making one she's making a big thing out of nothing. I hope you're right. Honey, you're gonna have to let Maria and me work this thing out. It's not your job to fix it. I know. But come on, help me make dinner. Okay. Hey Maria, did somebody forget how to knock? I live here. Yeah, well, you used to not live here. So, what's new? Oh, nothing much. I mean, just because you're home from college doesn't mean I have to tell you things. What are you so mad about? I'm not mad. <laughs> Maria, I've known you your whole life. I know something's wrong and you're mad at me about something, so you might as well tell me because I'm going to find out sooner or later. Not mad, it's just... Just what? Why did you drop out of college? Only failures drop out. That is not true. So are you saying I'm a failure for dropping out of college? You said it, I didn't. No, basically you said it. Look, I'm sorry you're so disappointed in me. But I'm not sorry that I came back home. I just can not handle college. Maybe when you're older you'll understand. No, when I'm older... I'll actually go to college and actually stay there until I'm finished with college. I'll see you at dinner. <sighs> Maria. Maria, what? I'm trying to take a nap. What do you want? I need to talk to you about Mia. Oh, her? Never mind. Maria, I'm serious. Something happened to Mia. What do you mean something happened to her? She, um, committed suicide. What? Yeah, she was so upset that you were mad at her that she didn't want to live. So it's your fault that Mia's gone. Just say no. Wait. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maria? I'm sorry. Maria. <sighs> you okay? Uh, yeah. Where's Mia? She, um, sh I believe she's in the living room with Mom. Time is it? Well, it's past dinner time. Mom didn't want to wake you, and she thought you and Mia needed some time apart, even though you've been apart for the past year. Mia's still here? Well, yeah, well, where else would she be? Come on, come and eat before your dinner gets cold. I'll be there in a minute. There's just something I have to take care of first. Okay. Mia? Hey. Hey. Can I talk to you? Why? She so can go on and on about how I failed? Thanks, but no thanks. Fine. I'll just be going along. But 
if you don't want to listen to me, how am I going to apologize for all I, all the mean stuff I've said to you? Well, you could send a note. Notes are nice. Although nothing says sorry like like flowers and candy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm also broke. <laughs> I don't really need flowers and candy. Look, I know I acted like a total jerk about you coming home from college. And I'm really sorry. You must think I'm a total nut. Not total. <laughs> Thanks. Why were you so upset about me dropping out of college anyway? The truth? Mm-hmm. The truth is... I always looked up to you. I always wanted to be like you. But now you don't want to be like me. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, kind of. Look, I understand why you would be disappointed. But it... Quitting college isn't what I consider taking the easy way out. I just couldn't handle it. There's things about me that you don't know. I know enough about you. And I know that you wouldn't quit on something that you worked so hard for. At least not on purpose. I'm not saying I'll never go to college, Maria. It's just I'm just not ready at the moment. I thought I was, but I'm not. I know. And I'm really sorry for my attitude. And you know what? I'm actually glad to have you home. Really? Totally. I love you. I love you too, kiddo. Very, very much. I'm going to go eat dinner. Okay, I'll keep you company. <laughs>